Oh, hold on, let me turn this down a little bit because this was kind of disappointing. I mean, the the optional boss fights were good. Well, first, let me just say this. First time playing Shin Megami Tensei 5 ever in my life. I'm a big fan of RPGs and, and the, the persona Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, series, Devil Survivor, all that. Like I'm, a, I actually like those that line of games, even though they exist in the same universe. They're kind of different timelines. Um, the game was cool. It was cool. It, it was good. I liked it. When I started it, I thought that I was doing the vengeance storyline, but apparently I did the creation storyline. To not wake the girl up is to go to is to do the original storyline, and to wake her up is the is the vengeance storyline, which is the new story that they went with. Um, the compendium. Or the rather the world of shadows as they call it in this game was familiar with me but I thought but the the way you transfer skills in this game it, it it's different from what I'm familiar with like with um, persona and all that I'm more familiar with the persona series even though I play like more Shin Megami Tensei games, I, I, I'm more familiar with the Persona series, as, as odd as that may sound. It's not. It here's the differences that that that, that got me with this game. The whole essence transfer that was new for me, because I'm thinking, okay, when you make a demon, they pass on certain skills, and you have that, but the affinities you have to get the essences for. Now I read online that leveling up the demon is is not a, is an unreliable way to get the essences that's the most reliable way for you to actually get them because when you get the essences you get their uh you get their affinities you get their affinities meaning that you get their resistances you get their repels their drains you get all that for your main character but once you level up the demons to a certain level then you get the essences from them then you can use it for that purpose as well as you're able to get um, you're, you're able to transfer some of their non-inherited, some of their, I believe they call it non-inherited, non-inheritable skills, or rather you get some of their inheritable skills, inheritable skills, excuse me. So if you're, so with the new affinity essences that you placed on your character or even another demon, um, if you, let's say they have, uh, A weakness to like thunder or something like that or electric you can give them you can pass on another skill or give them essences that covers up that weakness and when you pass essences on you may get a new weakness but you can transfer skills over uh, like the passive skills like the electric nullify or ice drain or ice nullify or whatever and that'll cover that up so ideally when you make demons you want to make you want to cover up your primarily your primary um, task is to cover up their weakness, whether it's just making them resistant to it, or make them completely nullified or repel or drain. Um, that's the main objective when you make the demon. So that was cool. Same thing with the main character. You just want to make sure that their weaknesses are covered, or make sure they're not weak to anything. Um. The way the the worlds are designed, I kind of liked them. I liked it. Um, even though some spots can be confusing, like when you're trying to get up on like a, a higher platform, it's real easy to pass up the, the 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 path that takes you up there. So you're gonna have to do some exploring. Uh, as far as the layout of the game and the maps, the only real complaint I have is the castles. I think they. Even though, even though it was only like, what, two of them, two or three of them, I feel like the castles, with the exception of the last one, they kind of lasted too long, especially like the Demon King's castle. It was just like, it, it just lasted forever. 
you know, it was like too many levels. Like they, they could have gave us four good levels and just called it quits. I think the Demon King Castle had like five or six. And if it didn't, it just felt that long. Um, the the optional boss fight, Masakado and, and the Demi Fiend from the third game, the main character from the third game, that those were good. Masakado kind of was, he wasn't tough. He was just tedious because he kept healing himself. Um, the real challenge was that Demi Fiend, but I, I enjoyed that that boss fight. Ooh, the microphone is like in the camera. And the game definitely has replayability with Lady Newer. Okay. Harold Abd Abdiel, Fallen Abdiel, Virtual Trainer Battler says Tokyo. Okay, preparing clear save data. Let's see what this, what I'm going to get. By loading this clear data, you will be able to start a new game plus from the beginning of the game. By doing so, you will carry, you'll be able to carry over certain elements from your previous playthrough, such as levels and money. Since clear data is a special type of save data used to start a new playthrough, it cannot be used to load previous game progress. When saving clear data, it is strongly recommended that you either save on an empty slot or overwrite a slot you no longer want. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll just do number three. All right, well, let me just load it up and see exactly what I'm. Okay. okay, the following elements will be carried over enemy, demon, compendium, unlocked fusion, certain miracles. Okay, good. Recommended for those who wish to replay the game while preserving the challenge of combat. In addition to the elements of newborn, the following elements will be carried over the Nahabino stats, levels, and miracles. Demons in your party, Maka items, and glory. Recommended for those who wish to replay the game but with easy combat. Okay. Okay, the following data carried on for newborn, enemy info, demon compendium. Okay, well, if the compendium is getting transferred over, I don't mind. Oh, but you know what? I don't know if I register everything. Certain miracles. Damn. So I'm going to lose my whole... Well, I got all the ones that I want anyway in the party to begin with. But really, I can just remake them. Okay. In Newborn, Enemy Info, Demon Compendium, Unlock Fusion, and Certain Miracles. In Reborn. Okay. It looks like I would want Newborn then. This will only influence the game's battle story will be unaffected. Please be aware a heart can only be chosen here. It cannot be selected later on. I'll just keep it on normal. You have reached the story and created the ideal world with Tau. As a bonus for clearing the game, Pan Panagia Tau cannot be summoned from the compendium. When summoned from the compendium, Panagia Tau can be dismissed like any other demon ally, except during the period of the story in which she accompanies you. The states of goddess party members in the point of clearing the game can be registered in the demon compendium. Register. Yeah, I mean, I guess. And we're just going to start us over to where we make the decision of, uh... Okay. So this time we got to make sure to take her hand because last time we didn't and
Thank you. Foolish soul. Do not forget that with a simple gesture, your decision has hastened right. the end of the world. We can only pray that you return to the proper path. Okay, so I'm gonna lead us on well, let's go. Let's just see where it goes. You find your way again. And you know what? I'm going to end it right there. I think I'm gonna leave it right there and I'm gonna do a second play through of this game obviously with the um with the vengeance storyline properly now so um yeah good canon of, of creation I like that one but I'm eager to see what the uh I, I'm prepared to see what the canon of vengeance storyline is so that being said thank you guys for watching peace and I'll see you guys next time for the Canon of Vengeance storyline of Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance.